The film Kemba shares the true story of a pregnant black woman who navigated the legal system and was wrongfully incarcerated. Take a look. What's going on? I don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, could you at least tell us what you're looking for? Peter Hall. Also known as Khalif Hall. Well, he certainly isn't in a dresser drawer, that's for sure. Do you know his whereabouts? No, sir, we do not. Oh, hey! Oh. It's my baby. Okay, well, it may not be the typical sexy Hollywood story that you're looking for, right? But it's a story that our next two guests say is absolutely necessary. So please welcome director Kelly Colley, winner of a Student Academy Award and the subject of the film and executive producer and now activist Kemba Smith. So great to have both of you Thank here. You Thank you for having us. Let's begin, Kelly, with what exactly the movie is about. Well, unfortunately, the film is about what many people are living today in the U.S. and back in the 90s. It is talking about our justice system. It's talking about uh, mandatory minimum sentencing laws that aren't taking into ac in account the individual and what their circumstances were. Kimba was a first-time offender. She had no priors. No, she came from a great family. But these laws are too blanketed. And unfortunately, they affect our communities, black and brown communities, and these aren't, these aren't new to us. And so this is why, one, we appreciate you taking us yeah, on, because we want to reach everyone. This is, a, this is affecting us as Americans, yeah. and we need to reassess what we're doing in our judicial system. Is that why you took on directing this film and exactly. wanted to get the story out there? Exactly. Uh, this touches home for me because when I was approached to direct Kimba's story, I knew immediately I had to do it because this happened to my best friend mm. when we both were going to college. She was tricked by another friend um, that we knew, we thought he was a big brother, and into just accepting packages. And uh, just to make a little money for uh, school before going to school. Mm -hmm. And then one day, she accepts a package, per usual, and then the door gets kicked in by the feds, wow. and inside was kilos of mm -hmm. oh my cocaine. So that summer, I ended up going to college and she ended up going to federal prison. Oh so this, gosh. unfortunately, this was well after Kimba's case. So yeah. it's continuing to be perpetuated, and so we're using art to teach and inform people of this story and yeah. many other stories. Teachable yeah. moment, for sure. Kimba, yeah. you've seen the film, you've lived the story. Um, so what? first off, tell us a little bit about your own journey and story. Um, it's. Well, first and foremost, I have to give credit to God because yeah. um, I think he's brought me to this um, moment because when I was seven months pregnant, sitting in a federal prison, didn't know what my outcome was going to be, I prayed and I asked God to allow me to be a voice to prevent other people from going down the same path. And I'm blessed to have two parents yeah. um, who are the heroes to the Kimba Smith story that once I got in this predicament, they loved me unconditionally and wanted to support me coming yeah. home. Um, but it was quite the journey um, to get to freedom because I was sentenced to 23 years, I mean 24 and a half years, longer than I had actually been living on this earth because I was 23 years old at the time. Mm -hmm. and, and incarcerated the, for what? I'm sorry. Um, for conspiracy, mandatory minimum drug laws. The federal mm -hmm. government held me accountable for 255 keys of crack cocaine, even though the prosecutor said I never handled, used, or sold any of the drugs that were involved. And it was mainly because of a relationship that I was in mm -hmm. as a college student mm -hmm. with a drug dealer who was abusive. Wow. Wow. So what, what was that like for you to see your life play out like that on screen? Um, it's a little uh, surreal, but I've also accepted the fact that my story can make impact on many others. There's twofold. One is a cautionary tale mm -hmm. um, to prevent other young people from going down the same path to hopefully prevent the school to prison pipeline. Um, and then the second uh, reason is because these laws that put me in prison for that long um, conspiracy drug laws where you don't actually have to be on the street touching the drugs or mm. doing anything that you can just get caught up on your association yeah. that that needs to be changed and I feel like um, judges should be able to look at individual cases and look at mitigating circumstances mm. and make a determination of what 
sentence is fair. Yeah. Um, and so with my particular case, um, they didn't look at the fact that I was in an abusive relationship, even mm. though there was expert testimony to that abuse. The victim on so many levels. Yeah, and there's certainly a lot of lessons from what you're talking about in understanding of, of law, right? So when you mm. direct this film and, and yeah. people watch it and then they walk away, what do you hope they take away with it and learn that they may not have known before? Well, I hope that they learn that no one is exempt from these types of laws. Like, Kimba is the poster child, in fact, she has a book called Poster Child, mm. um, of a good girl growing up in the suburbs and just by association, that's what people need to understand and that's what uh, kids going into college need to understand. Just by being associated around somebody, it doesn't matter that you didn't do anything, these laws can sweep you mm. up into it. But we also are um, pushing for clemency of someone who else is in the film, mm. Michelle West, someone who helped Kimba while she was incarcerated. Yep. Free Michelle West. Free Aww. Michelle West. And so we are pushing for her clemency. And um, Kimba, you know more if there's a website or something. Yeah, she was sentenced to two life sentences plus 50 years on her first offense. And so we're hoping that not only President Biden would um, do additional clemencies, but also that governors across the country mm. will use this act of mercy. So that's part of the social impact campaign that's along with the film. Yeah. So if you go to KimbaMovie.com, you can okay. get more information about Good. that. Well, Kimba, yeah. Kelly, thank you for sharing your story you and both. for helping to spread this very important message. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you.